Yeah, soldiers, it is your boy the MHH Creature in video, and this is part six of what if Naruto was the reincarnation of the Sage of Six Paths. I hope you guys enjoy another part of this critically acclaimed series that is being remastered. Shout out to my socials there on screen. If you want to see the last part, links in the description. And now, without further ado, let's get right into the story. Orochimaru is in vain the Leaf Village early, as he has gone pretty crazy because of how Naruto did him back and forth to death. Naruto is prepared, however, and sends his shadow clones to defend the village. Orochimaru has decided to leave the same village out of it in this canon, as long as they don't interfere, though he actually planned to kill them as well because they know a bit too much. However, Naruto is just way too unstoppable. Naruto kills all the Sound Ninja, grunts that he faces off against pretty easily. Then Naruto faces off against the Sound 4, and seeing the reddish, pinkish hair girl that Ken told him about, Naruto realizes that this must be Tayuya. Naruto is then like, gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Another one. As Naruto will save another girl so that he can add it to his error. I mean, just save her, just save her. The other dudes can't be saved, but Tayuya can definitely can be saved. Anyways, Naruto will destroy the Sound 4, despite them reaching stage 2, when Naruto releases the win release Hoho Jutsu. Although, of course, he makes sure to keep Tayuya you alive but the rest of the boys well they're all dead anyways naruto seems to be on another plane of power in comparison to other jonin in the arena and the furokage is pretty impressed as well naruto will then face off against orochimaru he will look at him and say to him maybe you've finally gotten the message learn that you are far below me in terms of overall strength learn and embrace it embrace your weakness for you are not going to make it out of here alive. You were always behind my father when it came to strength, and you lost Hokage position to him. Your own teacher didn't want you to become Hokage, and I don't blame him, because you conducted yourself in a manner unbefitting of a Hokage, with your constant thirst for power and eternal life. You are nothing but a third-rate shinobi with a fourth-rate personality who has a weird obsession with young bodies. And what's funny is, like my father, I will become Hokage before you. And the cycle will repeat itself, as not only were you outclassed by my father, but you are now being outclassed by his son. Naruto gets into a stance. Orochimaru is extremely angry because this brat has insulted him for the last time. Orochimaru will say, Don't you dare mock me! Naruto smiles as his psychological warfare is working. Naruto, after tapping into the first gate, will smack Orochimaru around some more. And he is just completely devastated as he cannot land a hit on this brat. Naruto will then continue to mock Orochimaru. You can't even get me to use 50% of my full power. Yet you call yourself a Sanin? You call yourself someone who is more worthy of becoming Hokage than my own father? You're not intimidating. You are not strong. You are just weak. Orochimaru just gets angrier. Naruto, done with playing around, decides to use his Mangekyo. And Orochimaru will be hit by the Amaterasu flames. Orochimaru screams as the flames continue to burn him, until he uses his snake shedding technique. Orochimaru by this point has taken a lot of damage, and Naruto seems to be ready to go for the kill. Orochimaru has now one thing on his mind. It's to run. He needs to get the hell out of there because Naruto is going to kill him. Naruto releases a lightning ball into the sky and as he says this he says you have hurt far too many people you do not deserve to be kept alive you have hurt your own student you have hurt your own subordinates and citizens you've even tried to hurt my girlfriends worst of all you have hurt your own teacher which is a big no-no in the ninja world you have hurt so many innocent lives in your pursuit of power and i cannot allow that to go unpunished today is a day that you die. This is the last day you can impact the lives of other people with your twisted experiments. And this is the last time you will try to steal another person's body. Face the strongest lightning jutsu in the world. As the clouds gather, a lightning dragon slowly descends from the clouds, and Naruto has his hand up, ready to release it towards Orochimaru. This dragon will be the last thing you will see before you die. It's time. 
lightning style. Kirin! Nor to fire off Kirin towards Orochimaru. Orochimaru sees his life flash before his eyes. However, there is one person that will take the blow instead of him, Kabuto. Kabuto uses a substitution jutsu and will switch himself with Orochimaru. Orochimaru notices right away what happened and just runs. He can't worry about Kabuto. He can't worry about anyone else. All he has to worry about is making sure he stays alive. Naruto kills Kabuto with the Kirin Jutsu, and as Kabuto is screaming and getting shocked and going through a very unpleasant experience, Kabuto thanks Orochimaru for giving him purpose. While Naruto is disappointed that he wasn't able to kill Orochimaru himself, he realizes he has severely crippled Orochimaru's quote-unquote empire. His sound four, his great subordinate, his army, almost everything is gone. He may have a couple experiments in our ninja in his back pocket, but it is probably far less than what Orochimaru had before. The village will praise Naruto, and the shooting exams will continue the next day. First matchup is Yugito versus Sasuke. And while the match has been even, once Yugito taps into that Two Tails chakra, Yugito will get the edge she needs and will finish off Sasuke with a punch and we'll move on to the next round. Next up, Karin vs Shikamaru. Karin shows that she has good speed and Shikamaru is not really able to go up against that. And after Karin lands a couple good hits on Shikamaru, the match has become pretty physical in her favor, which will cause Shikamaru to do the logical thing, which is to surrender, which means she moves on to the next round. After that, it's Rock Lee vs Samui. She tries her best, but she gets destroyed by Rock Lee. Moving on. Next up, Sakura versus Gara. This match is a bit competitive as Sakura is able to use a couple of Genjutsu that puts the bow in her favor. However, when Gara unleashes the sand, Sakura just cannot compete and she is forced to surrender. Although, Naruto congratulates her on a job well done. Next up, Tamari vs. Shino. Just like when the original series, I forgot Tamari vs. Shino in the last part. Although, I think I did that a little bit on purpose. Yeah, I, yeah, I totally did that on purpose. Anyways, while I think Shino is pretty strong, Tamari just has the issue of being able to blow away Shino's bugs, and I just feel like that she has a bit of a massive edge in power in comparison to Shino, so she'll win and move on to the next round. Finally, we have Naruto versus Hinata versus Neji. Short order, Naruto just knocks up both Neji and Hinata and gets the W. Anyways, another battle royale happens with Karin, Gara, and Tamari versus Naruto. Naruto will just destroy all of them and we'll move on to the next round. Next fight is Yugito versus Rock Lee. This one is very competitive, but Yugito will take the edge since he's in Cherokee. And yeah, even if Rock Lee has trained during this one month time skip, I think Yugito just has the edge. But again, the good news is that Lee doesn't have his body destroyed like the last time he faced off against the Tail Beast, so that's good for him, I guess. After Torment, Naruto will meet up with Tamara, Yugito, and Karin, respectively, and they'll all decide to communicate via letters, and they hope to see more of each other, which will probably cause something really beautiful to develop. Same can be said for Karin and Sasuke, who will also communicate via letters. In terms of promotions, Shikamaru will become a tuning like in canon, while Naruto becomes a Chunin as well, with the promise of becoming a Jonin pretty quickly. Hiruz will then tell Naruto that he wants to retire as he is getting older, so he will request him and Dry to go after Tsunade, so she can become Okage, since Dry turned the position down. Naruto will also be able to take away the curse mark from Tayuya, and after a bit of talking, Tayuya can see that Naruto is not a bad dude at all. Naruto will promise to visit her and Ken when he can, and that they'll probably be released pretty quickly if they play their cards right, which they definitely will. Anyways, with the Search for Tsunade arc, there is no attack from Itachi and Kisame as they want no part of Naruto in this timeline. Instead, Itachi and Kisame decide to search for Orochimaru. But while that's going on, Dry and Naruto will eventually find Tsunade, and Tsunade will of course refuse like in canon, so, Naruto will make a bet with her that if she can't beat him, she has to become Hokage. 
Tsunade thinking this is going to be an easy matchup since Shirai gave away that he is a tuning, will get a wake up call as she is knocked out in one blow. After waking up, she will be told by Shizune that she was knocked out in one punch, and she is very shocked as how can a kid like this be so strong already? Naruto will answer with hidden genes and hard work. After a bit of getting to know her, Naruto will learn about Tsunade's past, and with some help from Hakuromo and Kurama, Naruto will tell Tsunade that if she's Okage, she's allowing the dreams of her brother and her lover to stay alive, and in a way, they accomplish them through her. And after a bit of deconstruction of her logic and further argument, Tsunade is able to go for the same character development as in canon. Well, she still has her fear of blood, but she's gonna get over that pretty quickly. Naruto will then tell Tsunade that he is in one of those relationships as he gets to talk with her a bit more. And Tsunade will then say, if you break any of those girls' hearts, you'll be dead. Naruto then asks what could she do to him, which is a fair question considering that Naruto demolished her pretty easily, and Tsunade will say something worse than death, as she has this sinister smirk on her face, which scares Naruto, Hakuramo, and Kurama. Later on, Naruto and Kami will return to the village, and Tsunade will become Okage. Meanwhile, Itachi and Kisame find Rochimaru in a forest on the way to his village, and Rochimaru is scared because Itachi and Kisame could easily kill him. However, Itachi will say, Orochimaru, please come with us. We need your help. What will happen next? Find out in the next part. Thank you for watching part 6 of what Naruto was the reincarnation of the Stage 6 Pass Remastered. I hope you guys enjoy a, another part of this critically acclaimed series that is being remastered, and thank you all for watching until the end if you did so. Also, shout out to Drew for in this video, and shout out to Crown Fiend for the thumbnail, actually. He's actually been doing a couple of my thumbnails more recently, and he's done a very, very good job. Anyways, in terms of some other stuff, thank you to my tenor patrons, and my tenor patrons, Gate Tool and Night Slasher, for donating to my Patreon. If you want more watch their sauce like these, go to my Patreon, which is linked in the description. And thank you all for watching the video and enjoying the content. If you want, you can subscribe. You don't have to, but... It lets me know I'm building up an audience, and it just feels pretty good, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, this has been your boy, the MSH 10 Peace, your hot. Cue that outro.